Mechanical keyboards are great, but not everyone wants a full-size gaming keyboard on their desk or a very expensive build, which a lot of the custom keyboards can be. Some people just want a affordable option, $100 or less, that kind of mirrors the layout of either a Ma Apple Magic keyboard or one of the popular keyboards from Logitech. Well, Vissel has stepped up and created the LP85, which is an ultra slim 0.34 inch keyboard that has mechanical keys, RGB backlight, internal battery, and wired connection as well. So today we're gonna check it out. The LP85 comes in a really standard box. You'd see a nice white sleeve that has a little preview of the layout. Around back though, it's really interesting. You can kind of see a full spec sheet. So we have a 2000 milliamp battery, which should give us decent battery life. It even has the key travel of 2.5 millimeters. It has the board height, which is 0.34 inches. So super slim, the thinnest mechanical keyboard that I'm currently aware of. There are 85 total keys, hence the LP85 name, low profile 85. Also RGB lighting. So you've got a full RGB backlight suite with effects, all that stuff going on. Bluetooth 5.0 and USB Type-C. So pretty much anything that you would want this keyboard essentially has, and it has it in an ultra compact or ultra slim form factor. Let's pop it open. You can get the box open. You are greeted with a start guide and or layout. It has both the Windows and Mac layout diagrams there, as well as what the functions are, how to enable everything, including the media keys, etc., on the back side. So that's very helpful. Then there's a nice plastic covering here to protect your keyboard. And then you get to see the actual keyboard and it really does look great. Let me pop it out of here and we'll touch on that in one second. You also get in addition to that, so let's see what else comes in the box here. So thank you card, a full manual there, some stickers here, which I guess is kind of cool. Some Vissel stickers and some just, I guess, related stickers, that's cool, and then your cables. So you get a nice USB-C cable to type A, which is nice. So everything you need to get started is obviously included in the box. The keyboard, again, 85 keys, so a pretty standard layout, almost identical to my Key Crime K3. You've got your function in your home, up, page up, page down, end keys on the left there. Up top, you've got a full row of function keys. Um, brightness, all that fun stuff that you would typically expect. This is the Windows layout, and you can also get it in the Mac layout. Obviously, I'm a Windows user. The back side has two long rubber strip feet, so you shouldn't have any problems there with stability unless your desk is uneven, and it's a nice, as you can see, aluminum casing, so it feels premium, it feels really good. Around top, we have a switch for your either cabled mode or your Bluetooth mode, an LED status light, and then also USB-C. There's really nothing else around the sides, but you can see how thin the keyboard actually is and that it's actually tapered. So it's got a nice angle to it. You shouldn't really need a wrist rest with this since it is slimmer than most mechanical keyboards. And around the front side, there's just nothing. I will say it does feel fantastic. It feels like a premium, premium device. Like this could have easily been built by Apple and I would think nothing of it. The aluminum feels really good. Everything feels solid. There's no flex or wobble to this keyboard, which is nice. Adjusting the backlighting on the LP85 is pretty simple. All you have to do is turn the keyboard on or plug it in, hit the FN key and then delete. And that will allow you to cycle through all the different RGB LED options. There are 19 in total. So a really good variety. If you want to just set it to a monochrome and or switch the colors, you can hit the FN key and then the left and right arrow key. You can see you can cycle through a lot of the colors there for effects and you can just have it static as well. Adjusting the brightness, you hit up or down. Now we'll adjust how bright it is so you can turn it off there. So it's pretty simple in terms of how you adjust it. And the RGB backlighting is really, really good here. It's very strong and the colors look great. This is one of the best implementations that I've seen. They shine through brightly and there's no leakage whatsoever. Everything looks fantastic. The LP85 has a ton of features, but none of that really matters if it doesn't have a good typing experience. So first thing I noticed when I went to this keyboard is it's got ample space in terms of the keys and the areas around them. Sometimes with the chiclet style layout, the keys are a little cramped. That's not the case here. It's actually a little more spread out than my Key Crime K3, which I use as my daily driver. Next thing I noticed was the keys are a little concave. You can kind of see 
you look, there's a slight slope similar to what you would see from like, say, Logitech's keyboards, a lot of their popular ones, um, more desktop style production, just general task typing type of keyboards. And that's something that I really like. I think it's very subtle, but it's very well done. The last thing you will notice when you start typing here is the key feel. Now, I am not a big fan of clicky keys at all. That's not something that I typically like, but the way that they have built these switches, they feel fantastic. And when you're typing in here, it's very clicky, but it's almost, it's so good. It feels so good that it's worth it. Again, I usually use MX Browns. I'm a brown switch guy. I like that tactile bump, but also I like the silence of it. These there is a really, really nice hump and that click feels so good. I mean, I, it's hard to even explain how good these feel. These feel like a much thicker keyboard switch, like a switch that you'd find in a full size keyboard. There is good travel, plenty of travel. Even if you're a keyboard diehard, I think you'll probably like the way this keyboard feels. I mean, it really just, wow, it's phenomenal. So as you heard, if you can deal with the clickiness, which I got over very quickly because of how good it feels, you will have an excellent typing experience. The keys are pretty consistent. The space bar, enter, and delete keys, as with a lot of keyboards, do sound slightly different than the rest of the keys. There is a very, very small ping sound that you can hear when you're typing on some of the keys, but overall I found it to be very pleasing. And once you get used to it, not really distracting at all. Now let's do a quick comparison between this and the Keychron K3, which has low profile brown switches. After testing out the LP85 for a while, I didn't find that it had any connectivity issues. A lot of keyboards I've tested in the past drop out, you know, signal loss, that sort of thing. And having the wired mode backup is a great option. It also paired very quickly. So when you wake it up, it didn't have to wait a ton of time. It happens almost instantly. So that's very nice. Overall, I think that this is a fantastic keyboard. It has pretty much every feature that I could want. The only thing that concerns me to this point is going to be the clickiness of the switches. I've gotten used to it so far. It still isn't ideal. If I could have the same exact keyboard, you know, the same exact keyboard without that switch or a slightly muted switch, I think that would be make this the greatest option pretty much for me ever. But as it stands, it's still my new favorite keyboard. I have switched to this for daily use and it is fantastic. So how do you pick one up for yourself? Well, currently they are on Kickstarter. You can pick one up for $99, which in my opinion is a steal for everything that you get in this keyboard. It's a value. So I'll drop a link for that in the description as well. You can also see a little bit more product information there on their Kickstarter page if you wanna check that out for yourself. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm Jay, I'll see you next time.